Men are obviously the disposable gender, this goes without saying. Men are the ones that society and governments turn to when issues arise, even if they had previously been regarded as trash or utilities. Nowadays, ideas like female empowerment, quote unquote, are popular. The influential people in the world actually oppose having women work in the sewers. Either fix the electric grid or go fishing early in the morning. Men always perform those tasks. Because of this, when some men still venture out in search of a nice lady, they encounter women who consider themselves independent, strong, and independent of men. It's amusing since these women don't require guys. They go on dates, but why on earth? They appear to be lacking something. Perhaps they desire a provider, a chad, or all of the above. Who knows? I'm only speculating. Fortunately, not all women hold males in such low regard that they fail to recognize the challenges facing men. Three. Uh, women's lives are bottom-ended and men's lives are top-ended. So like... So what do you mean by that? What, what I mean is that a woman is kind of born with an intrinsic value because she is a woman. Mm -hmm. Life right. starting out for females is much easier than it is for boys, um, right. in my opinion. Um, I think this is because if you like go like way back to when we were like hunter-gatherer, um, types of people, you know, the the women were sort of looked after and so, and it's like that today. The women are sort of like coddled, I want to say, like we're, we're protected. Whereas the men, it's like, right, you are a man now. So, you know, get up, pull your socks up and get on with it. I respect her candor and the way she expressed herself. This gave me the idea to discuss how horribly guys are treated in society. The difficult journeys they take as modern women provide little to no incentives to date or get married. Stay tuned because I am positive you will adore this one. Everyone would concur, at least in theory, that if a man and a woman commit the same crime or engage in the same immoral act, they should each receive the same punishment. For instance, it shouldn't really matter if the murderer is a guy or a woman and the offender ought to serve the same number of years in jail. In reality, though, it doesn't happen all that frequently. You know how difficult it is to avoid offending someone, so I'll be careful with my word choice. Anyway, I'm aware that most of you are considerate. So, even when I call out psychotic girls who harm innocent people, you won't have an issue. Here it comes, take a look at this article, yes, I know it looks insane. But that's what happened back in 2021 and now they're about to face a prison sentence to be determined. The mother Magdalena and her girlfriend ended the life of the innocent Lucio, a five-year-old kid. This is way more outrageous than it looks because a feminist judge called Anna Clara Perez Ballester gave Lucio de Pai's custody to his mother. Magdalena Esposito Valenti, who was found guilty on Thursday, February 2. Men are trash, but everyone must believe that women are perfect, pure, and angelic. This news disproves that. Yes, passport bros are visiting Latin and South America. Argentina is horrible since feminism is strongly established there. As shown, insanity is not exclusive to Western nations like America. Men worldwide are struggling. Spain calls male-on-female violence gender-based. The opposite is domestic violence. This goes beyond terms since prison sentences vary and men get harsher penalties. I embrace peace, understanding, and tranquility as much as you do. This news and facts show that males have it tougher and are branded criminals no matter what. Suppose you work hard. Keep working for years until you're ready to marry a nice woman. You do so, but she reports you to the police after a dispute and puts you in jail. You didn't do anything to her, but she used it to ruin your life. Even in relationships, males can be trashed, where women are respected. Because men's well-being, mental health, and rights are more criminal, this brings me to partnerships. Despite this brutal reality, men pull their socks up, swallow their feelings, and work. It sounds harsh but it's more realistic than whining about the world being unfair. According to the woman in the previous clip, women are born with value but males must create it. Men must check numerous boxes, yet many women can get laid and have a decent social life, even if they're average looking and unpleasant. What do you bring to the table? And the guy's like, this. Women would be like, um, so who pays the bills? And um, what does your car look like? And what kind of job do you have? And are you going to take care of the family? And do you know how to like fight? Like if I was in trouble, like you're going to protect me? And they'd have a whole list that you'd be checking off. He'd be like, well, I, you know, you can barely keep up. And they're just like this. No, this 
does not make a high value woman. It doesn't. There has to be more to you than that. And, and it's not this and I'm the CEO of my own company because they don't care about that. We already told you that. So you can care about it. You can be proud of that CEO title all you want. But I'm telling you straight up, a guy would rather have a kind, loving, supportive, respectful woman that works at Arby's than have a CEO that's a nightmare to live with, that isn't supportive, that isn't respectful, and that doesn't care about him really. Voila, another woman who acknowledges males. Common sense should be more widespread. Today, ideologies trump facts and research. Women today discuss gender equality or desire perks. They demand quotas for particular jobs and degrees, as examples. Ironically, many women who seek equality don't enjoy those occupations or degrees. However, they value being correct and domineering over happiness. Why pursue your passion when you can just call men scumbags? After hitting the wall, the lovely male women want to get cheated on and disrespected. This discourages males from being kind and encourages them to avoid modern women. In the preceding case, you work harder to provide for your wife and children. She may divorce you if you become weak or vulnerable. I think women are worse nowadays is we're bailed out. We are paid to leave marriages and we're paid to be single mothers. If you pay someone to do something, they're going to do more. He makes a very compelling argument, but he's also an error. MGTOW does not have any immediate plans to date. And in some circumstances, she doesn't even want to date again. Being that the dating environment is so crazy. It's not surprising that men steer clear of dating after marriage. Paying for dates, navigating entitlement issues and double standards, battling aggressive women, etc. Too many drawbacks outweigh the benefits. Another guy said this. My question has always been, in the interim, how are they going to interact with women in their family, work environment, etc. Well, this proves how much MIG2 misinformation circulates. Job, my brother, we rocking with you. Overall, this video has demonstrated how terribly men are treated and other challenges that men face but which no one really notices. The good news is that as long as you avoid these toxic women who want to treat men like trash, everything will be ugh. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, live your great life as a MGTOW. As always, I wish you guys great success. Stay strong. It's your time now. How do you feel? Do you know of any additional circumstances or laws that discriminate against men? Why, in your opinion, do these women treat men so poorly? To give your support, click the thumbs up button. Please leave a comment below if you would like to see more videos like this one. Be sure to give it to the guys who are in the most precarious need of it.